Hello everyone, welcome back to Donkin Rompa 2. Goodbye, despair. Goodbye, despair. <laughs> Farewell. The despair hasn't left us yet. If anything, it's gotten worse. Uh, or it's just getting started. Uh, last time we discovered, or I guess last time we had a murder happen right before our darkened darkness eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where. <laughs> You're right. That is a true statement I was you gonna, just made. I was going to say we had a murder happen right before our eyes, which I guess is accurate. Or but before our ears. Or before our ears, too. That's true. Um, right before our senses. Uh, sorry, I, it's very sad, actually. <laughs> Uh, we have lost our leader, uh, Byakia. Uh, uh, during the party, we had a, a blackout occur, and w once the lights came back on, we did a little bit of investigating, and we discovered his body. So now we're in the process of actually investigating. Uh, we are truly in the middle of a case. We need to figure out who the blackened is, who it is that uh, murdered Byakia, and everyone is having a bit of a rough time. They are. Um, I would say, with the exception of whoever the murderer is. <laughs> so. so we're currently traveling around, I believe, with Komeda, um, in order to talk oh, yeah. to all the people that were outside. Either were outside of the room um, when the murder happened or to investigate the rooms that we have not visited yet um, that might be related to yes. the murder. Yes. So we're gleaning all that we can. We investigated the body last time and basically the scene of the crime. We, we spent a lot of time with last time, and now we're, we're going outside and checking out the rest of the building. Indeed. Um, so we ran into Ibuki here, so I'm going to we'll see what she, yes. she has Hello. to say. Hello. I see. I see. Apparently, a great man once said, investigations should be done on foot. Yes. So that's why I'm using my feet. I'm just going to walk around for no particular reason. Well, if there's no reason, then there's no meaning. Hey, hey, Hajime, I just realized something. Could she, by any chance, know what happened during the blackout? Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Are you serious? Uh, how'd you know? <laughs> so you did hear us, even though Hajime and I were talking pretty softly just now. <laughs> <laughs> Not only do I have the perfect face, style, and personality, but I also have perfect ears. I see. If your hearing is so good, maybe you heard what actually happened during the blackout. Hey. When the blackout happened, could you hear everybody's voice throughout the din- You could hear everybody's voice throughout the dining hall, right? We couldn't tell, but you would have been able to make out who's who- uh, Make out who's who, right? <laughs> Just leave it to Ibuki! It'll be easy as a- It'll be easy as fried rice with gravy. Huh? <laughs> I don't know what that is. La 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 la! I'll heartily eat it for breakfast. I see. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know what I was reading there. Um, oh, you mean like it'll be easy as pie? Except eating fried rice with gravy for breakfast is kind of heavy. <laughs> Any fried rice that isn't fried rice with gravy is so wrong. Ibuki, a man has died. <laughs> yeah, come on. Let's bring it back down. She should make a metaphor with more com a more common type of fried rice. I can't fucking read. <laughs> fried ice. <laughs> she should make a more she should make a metaphor with a more common type of fried rice, like egg fried rice or lettuce fried rice. What the fuck? Wait, what's lettuce? Fried? That doesn't sound very good to me. Lettuce fried? Like maybe with cabbage, but lettuce sounds a little. Yeah, off. I don't know about I don't know about that. Anyway, um, can you just tell us what you heard? I got it. Leave it to me. I'm gonna make a bite out of you. I'm yep. gonna take a bite. I see, I can't read at it's all. Okay, I'm it's not, okay. It's like I'm making up words. <laughs> <laughs> just read. If you tell us, I'll let you bite Hajime later. <laughs> no. Whoa. No, thank you. He didn't consent to that. Stop it. What if she takes you seriously? Sorry. I we fixed didn't... it earlier. I thought we resolved. I thought we resolved the controller <laughs> yeah, issue. It's okay. Let's see. The person who raised their voice during the blackout was... That's right. It was Mahiru. Ugh, it's a blackout! Next was Kazuichi's voice, and then the next voice was mine. Hey, I can't see anything. It's pitch black! My future is pitch black! 
<laughs> That's right. What did you eat, Bikki? Yeah! <laughs> what a nice remark I made! It's to the point and has its own unique charm! Just continue. Then there were more voices, one after the other. Uh, everyone, calm down! We gotta stay calm in a situation like this! Ah, don't step on my feet! What the hell? What's going on here? This, this is... Ow! Turn the damn lights on! I can't eat like this, you know! You guys? Where are you? W wasn't the blackout just in the kitchen? Perhaps the breaker overloaded? Hold on a sec. I'll go along the wall and do something about it. Okay, so now we got everyone's voices. <laughs> Alrighty, so that's pretty much it. <laughs> Aren't I awesome? Praise me! Praise me! Give me lots of praise! I heard you the first time. Seriously, don't get any closer. Hey, Nagito, say something to her. Uh, hmm? Hey, did something happen? Oh. No, I was just thinking about what Byakuya said during the blackout. What Byakuya said? Yeah. Hey, why did he say something like that? Rather, why was he able to say that? What the hell? What's going on here? And this is... What do you mean? Hmm. About that, why don't we discuss it after we've investigated a little bit more? For now, I can't really say anything for certain. Well, it's not like I really... Well, it's not like I really care. Yep. Anyway, don't you think Ibuki's account just now is an important clue that will lead us to the truth? Then praise me! Let me bite ya! <laughs> Ouch! Why are you really biting me? <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> She's something. She is something. Ibuki's account has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Excellent. All right. Well, thank you. Bathroom time. <laughs> Bathroom. Hello. Let's... Yeah, it's still... Huh? It's locked. <sighs> Someone appears to be inside. Since it's a unisex bathroom, I don't know who's actually in there. Hey! Hey, is someone in there? We knocked on the door and tried calling out to whoever was on the other side, but... Hmm. There's no response. This is going nowhere. I guess we should give up for now and check on it later. Yeah, you're right. Alright, well, that's frustrating. We have the storage room and we have the office. The other way. Is the office over here? I think so. Maybe. This, is this considered the office? Wait, no, that's that's the exit, but what's here? Can what's I... over here? Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Spider webs. There also was a door to your right after you turn this corner. Mm -hmm. After you turn this corner, oh, to, what, there's uh, a door to your right. Oh, right here. Uh, to your right. Yep. It go nope, more to your right. This one? Yes. yes. Oh, office. There, <laughs> there it is. It, is. Okay. <laughs> it was hidden. <laughs> Okay. It's the oh. Duralumin case! There's a lot of people in here. Hajime, the old building's circuit breaker should be inside this office. Circuit breaker, huh? It might be related to the blackout. So, it it's better if we check out the circuit breaker first. Okay, so don't talk to people. Just check out the circuit breaker. Okay, where's the circuit breaker? Is, this, is this considered... This is the AC. Uh, just oh. bing? Oh, up here? Yeah. Okay. Why is it so tall? Yeah, why is it way up there? That must be the old building circuit breaker. The blackout probably happened because of this. It's way up there, though. I see. Hmm, it doesn't look like someone did anything to it. Nothing else looks suspicious, either. The circuit breaker is pretty high up. Even if you use a stepladder, you won't reach it. Hmm. Yeah, I totally agree. That's why it's so mysterious. Well, during the blackout, I was panicking so bad I forgot about that, but... You're right. Even with a stepladder, there's no way you'd be able to reach the circuit breaker. Which means somebody must have reset the circuit breaker after the blackout. But who? Oh. I did it! Oh! It was Whoa. me! <laughs> yeah, it's here! Actually, <laughs> you idiots had no idea what to do about the blackout, so I'm the one who reset the circuit breaker. By oh. the way... Ah, by the way, I'm not the one who tripped the breaker. The killer did that, of course. Yeah. But how did someone as small as you reset the breaker? Hey, 
Um, well, first, firstly, my eyes work real good at night, so I have no trouble seeing in the dark. And if you want to know how I reach the circuit breaker, my body stretches. <laughs> you know, I'm very elastic. <laughs> Is he plastic? <laughs> I won't be Liar! It's true. I'm serious. You want to see? Please get really long. Long Monokuma. Long, long Monokuma. Monokuma. <laughs> want to see a version of Monokuma with his body all stretched out? It's gross. It's grotesque. <laughs> no, thanks. Just imagining it makes me want to puke. It's like a real long Furby. <laughs> oh, <Yeah>. really? <laughs> That's such a shame. So Still, cool. don't you think that Monokuma is such a nice guy? In a popularity contest, he'd take first place. I see. Bye. What the hell? So he's the one who reset the breaker? Well, uh, in that case, I'm convinced there's no way we'd be able to, we'd be able to reach it. If that's the case, how did the killer t uh, trip the circuit breaker? Hmm. If they didn't trip it or set it up to be tripped. Interesting. Anything Interesting. else? Okay. There's a bunch of things to look at in here. There are. So I'm going to start with this, and then I'll look at everything, and I'll talk to people. This remote control is for the office's air conditioner. Huh? The timer here was set to 11.30 p.m. Okay. Same time. Yeah. Wasn't the timer of the air conditioner in the dining hall also set to that time? So if they both go out, maybe they can trip the breaker. Like, if it's too much... I mean, it's an old building, and it's too much energy for both of these Just big AC it. units to go off. Maybe that could trip it. So... It can't be a coincidence, right? Probably not. Eee. Okay. AC timer has been updated. Awesome. Um, oh, there's a bear over there. Please click on the bear. Oh, yes. <laughs> Hello. Got you. Gotcha. Oh. I've been found. You have indeed. Yes. Coins I for kinda, gifts. I kind of wanted you to stay unfound, but <laughs> that's so, you know, whatever. Is this the desk of the staff used? Uh, is this the desk the staff used for busy work? It's the same. Uh, uh, lamp. It's a different lamp. Oh, it's a different lamp. Yeah, the okay. other lamp looks like a mushroom. Uh, oh, there's yeah, nothing right. in particular there, in particular that catches my eye. Okay, it's just a lamp. Duralumin. I'll do the Duralumin case and I'll talk to everybody. Sorry, <laughs> Duralumin. This Duralumin case. It should contain all the dangerous items Biakia collected. Is that it? Oh. Hey. Maybe we should check inside, uh, just to be safe. But it's locked. Yep. Byakuya had the key to this particular Duluman case with him. Check it out. I brought it with me since there's no need to worry. Hey, is it okay to take that key without permission? Now, now. It's forbidden to tamper with the crime scene. But if we don't, we can't check inside the case, right? <laughs> so I should open it. This guy, he doesn't feel any remorse. Hmm. See? See, it's open. Forks, kitchen knives, iron skewers, and various tools are all crammed inside. Oh, that's, that's me. But it's not possible that the killer took anything from here. Because the key to this case was inside the case Byakia had with him. I guess you're right about that. Hmm. Okay. okay. All right, let's talk to everybody in the Soda. room. Soda. Soda. Maybe. Hey, uh, is it Pecco the killer? You're just going for that, huh? Why do you think that? I mean... Well, she wandered off somewhere, even though she was supposed to be in the office. Oh, sorry. <laughs> when we were looking for Byakia after the blackout, I went to the office right away, but when I got here, she was gone. Well... I shouldn't say this too loudly, or else Miss Sonia will yell at me. Hmm. But Pekka's probably the one who tripped the circuit breaker and used the blackout to her advantage to kill Byakia. Hey. And don't you think she kind of looks ruthless, too? Like, an assassin, right? <laughs> well, it's not like you look any better. <laughs> That's a truth bullet? <laughs> that guess... Pekka wasn't here. Okay. That, yeah. That makes sense. That's yeah. worth knowing. Yeah, that's true. What were you up to, Pecco? Yeah, what were you doing, Pecco? <laughs> I can already tell. You doubt me, correct? Uh-huh. 
However, it does not surprise me. An unexpected blackout occurred, and during that time, Biakia was killed. Anyway. The circuit breaker in this office. Naturally, I look suspicious since I was supposed to be here. Oh, the circuit breaker is in this office. Sorry. Wait! Supposed to be here? Does that mean... I see. So I was right! You weren't in the office. But why? Weren't you supposed to guard the circuit breaker in the Duralumen case with all the weapons in it? Huh? So where'd you run off to all on your own? Well... Well... That is... <sighs> Pego suddenly dropped one knee and started groaning on the spot. Whoa, what? Hey, what happened? No, I am not feeling too well. I apologize, but excuse me. What the heck? Excuse me? What was that? Hey. Pecco, it appears the bathroom inside this old building is currently occupied, so I recommend either the hotel lobby or your cottage. Huh? It seems like it will be a tough path. Is everyone shitting their pants? <laughs> is ever It does seem to be going around. Yeah. With cold sweat dripping from her forehead, Pecco wobbled out of the office. W what happened to her? <laughs> It's kind of hard for me to say it myself. I already had- I already feel bad enough for Pekko as it is. Uh, what does that mean? Huh? I mean, is it cool? She didn't, like, run away or something. That's right! Cause if she ran away, she's obviously the killer! I'm almost positive! Hmm. Is that really what it was? No. Now then. Now then. I guess we're done with the office, don't you think so? We should get going now. Okay. All right. We have enough. storage. We have kitchen. Storage and kitchen. Okay. 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 Uh, let's go. That's Ibuki. Uh, that's Ibuki. Have we talked Hello, to Sonia? Sonia? I don't think so. Okay. Hi, Sonia. Hi, What's Sonia. up? All right. Um, um, there is something I wanted to ask you. Mm -hmm. What is it? Um... It is strange, no? It appears that only the wall is- Oh, it appears that- It appears that only that wall is a different color material. Why is that? Perhaps. Oh, it's probably a fire door. Fi oh, that's you. Oh, fire door? Uh, have you never seen one before? It's a door that shuts to keep fire from spreading by containing it. If that happens, you can run away, right? I see! It's, it is just like a barrier! Just like lining up plastic bottles around the house! That's only done to keep cats from getting in. Oh. <laughs> you know about keeping cats from getting inside, but you don't know about fire doors? I am ashamed! Truly, I am culturally ignorant. I am ashamed of myself. Oh. Okay, so fire door. Fire door has been added to the truth bullets. Okay. okay. I guess that's it for Sonya. Uh, there's just two, it's two fire, fire doors. doors. Yep. Oh, no. Okay. And then this is the kitchen, so I'll yes. go in the kitchen. I guess it's like if there's a fire in the kitchen. You can seal off the rest and run. Yeah. Yep. Okay. All right. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Daru, Actually, Daru. I'm not going to talk to Dirt <laughs> Terry yet. <laughs> I'm going to look at this. Biakia must have confiscated all the dangerous items on the kitchen's equipment list. <laughs> well... Just from reading through this list, it looks like the knife next to Byakuya's body didn't come from the kitchen. It appears to have been brought from outside. From outside? Then how did the killer get past Byakuya's body check? That's weird. Strange, isn't it? I mean, he didn't even go easy on the girls when it, he was performing the pat-downs. If that's the case, they probably brought the knife in advance and hid it somewhere. Yeah. Either it was originally from the kitchen and then and like the count was altered, like beforehand, like someone was in the kitchen. I don't know, maybe Terataro who fucking can go in the kitchen and has been cooking and has already grabbed a knife like ahead of time. Mm -hmm. and, you know, was like planning this. Or maybe brought his had his own knife that was on his person. I don't know. Or is there anywhere else in 
the island where knives can exist. Maybe ro the rocket punch store. I don't know if they sell knives I mean, knives that does there. seem to have literally everything. Yeah. But there also could be knives from the um the main dining hall. Right. Yeah. yeah. So it's also, it's hard to tell, especially because this is a localization, but it does look like the list is printed. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That That's that might true. not be true, but but that that strikes me as like maybe not handwritten. I don't know. Right. Um, I don't know. I, yeah, that's fair. Yep. Okay. I don't know. Hey. Still, it's surprising how much equipment this kitchen has. There are iron plates for barbecuing, and even a portable stove for cooking hot pots. But is all that? Uh, but is all? But this is all stuff that doesn't pertain to the murder. So, I guess it doesn't really matter. <laughs> I agree. All right. Well, it's still a truth bullet, though. Okay. Um, anything else to look at in here? I guess I'll look at this and then at the dishes and then I'll talk to Charter. Mm -hmm. Okay. Chinese, Japanese, French, and Italian cuisine. Fish dishes and a big piece of meat on the bone, too. I guess that's the same. Okay. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? That meat is so big, even I was shocked. Well, guess it's that's a dish. about it. It's a dish fit for a tropical island. I'd never be able to get meat like that, like this in Ayo in Ayo Ayo Aoyama. Aoyama. Thank you, <laughs> but I just couldn't do it. I was trying to do his his voice. Still, I know, I know, and it, I it, fell it, apart. It, Thank you. Wait. Oh, I'd never be able to get meat like this in my hometown, much less Aoyama or Azubu. Azubu I can't fucking say. It's his words. voice. I know it's throwing you off. No, his voice is, is. I get it. You don't have to repeat yourself. But it's so big, where did you get it? <laughs> I asked Nekumaru. Apparently he killed no! the cow at the ranch with his bare hands and brought it over. It was a chicken! <gasps> oh my god. Oh yeah, <laughs> wait. It transformed before our eyes! But I guess it was a cow, what? because we have its haunch now. <laughs> I'm not freaking out over here. I don't like that. I mean, I guess if it's a computer simulation, then... None of it even fucking- none of it matters. <laughs> We're not actually eating food, so... His bare hands? <laughs> That's a little hard to believe, but it doesn't seem completely impossible either. Those hands of his? They look like they specialize in punching things. I wouldn't want to get punched by those hands. <laughs> mm -hmm. Seriously, Nekomaru is so wild. He's totally right at home in a country setting. I'm so jealous. My hometown is near Ayayama <laughs> and Azabu. <laughs> God damn, you keep saying that. This, this game is punishing you <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> so wild country things like that? It slipped my mind a lot, you know? Man. Well, I guess this meat has gone to waste since this awfulness happened right when the party started. The only ones who ate any food were Akane and Peko, who took some portions for herself. Hey, we should go talk to Akane and see if she's also shitting her pants. Please. <laughs> eh? Don't say that. After I worked so hard to cook the world's most refined party dishes, only two people actually tasted them. To tell well, Byakuya the did too, but... He did. He <laughs> was actually the first one yeah. to eat. Yeah. Well, it's not like I actually believe it, but... If there really is a killer out there, uh, I'll probably never be able to forgive that for forgive that killer. He's scary when he's mad. Okay. Food. So party, party dishes. dishes have been added. All right. I guess we have to. If you say you're from Aoyama or Azubu, <laughs> Azubu. Azubu again, I want to say Abuzu. Which is no, not right. it's Azubu. <laughs> Azubu. <laughs> hey, were you in the kitchen during the blackout, Terutero? Ah, uh, <laughs> that blackout totally startled me. At first, I thought it was just in the kitchen, but when I finally managed to get out of the kitchen, the hallway was pitch black too. And then I heard everybody's voices, so I fumbled along the wall and tried to find my way to the dining hall. But that place was pitch black too. It was like pitch black everywhere. It was like the movie Pitch Black. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Could you have used that kitchen stove as a light? No, 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 no. Uh, that's impossible. 
This gas stove needs electricity to work, so it was directly affected by the blackout. I see. Then I guess it's not possible. Since you work with fire in the kitchen, I figured you'd be able to use a light source or something, but... I guess it's not that easy. Okay. Tartara's account. He was in the kitchen and then fumbled along to try and get into the dining room. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I guess I'm pretty much finished investigating the kitchen for now. Okay. Nagito, let's get going. You're right. Yeah, sure thing. Okay. All right. Storage room. Storage room. All right. There's some interesting accounts. Also, there are a lot of accounts, yeah. but admittedly, Ooh. because like because it was pitch black, it's kind of needed those first yeah, accounts. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Naito. Hey, Lul. Hmm. Hmm. How come Byakio was able to say something like that in the darkness? Like, what the hell? What's going on here? Or this is... It makes me wonder. Okay, we'll, we'll address that. That was just game reminding you yep. of that. Okay, storage room. Anybody in here? No. Nope. Just, just him. All right. The storage room is really dusty and dark. Wow. My hands were full cleaning the dining hall, so I couldn't touch this room. It even has cobwebs. There's no way I could stay here for a long time. <laughs> All right. I mean, lots of places have cobwebs. Sorry, I'm trying to- I know, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I don't know why it's fighting you it's so much. It's weird. Okay, I guess we'll- uh, I'll Irons. Dress every- I'll start- Whoa, there's a whole bunch of them. <laughs> Whoa. Are these irons? It looks like they were recently turned on, but why are there three irons on an ironing board? Another thing to try and trip the circuit breaker. More things to overload it, maybe. I guess irons take a bit of power. Hmm. Just as I thought, your eyes don't miss a thing. When I was looking for Byakya after the blackout, I also found these irons, but when I found them, all three of them were turned on. Turned on? Yep. It'd be bad if another blackout happens, so I turn them off. But doesn't this feel kind of sinister? Sinister? Yeah. Definitely think that I was trying to triple power. Mm -hmm. Anything with like a lot of power on it. Um, I guess we'll look at this. It's like a little scarf or something here. There's an awful lot of boxes. <laughs> we don't have time to go through each and every one of them. I guess I, I should leave them alone. Yep. A wise decision. Okay. okay. And then we've towels. Got used towels here. There's a huge piece of cloth randomly shoved in here. Perhaps. Is this a tablecloth? Oh, a tablecloth? Wait. Huh? Hold on. There's something on it. <gasps> Whoa! Is this a blood stain? Huh? Huh? A blood stain? Come here. Take a closer look. What? It's too dark. I can't really see that clearly. There's no mistaking it. This is clearly a blood stain. Which means this tablecloth is connected to Byakuya's murder, right? Well, if that tablecloth has a blood stain on it, then it's definitely a then it's a possibility. Seriously, it is a blood stain. Whoa. Okay. Interesting. What the hell? That's pretty How'd wild. You Hey, Hajime, how much longer are you going to stay in this dark place? You're just wasting your time. We found a bloodstained tablecloth, you... man. Come on. Let's move on and investigate other places already. I know what he's saying. It's like you're done, but... Okay. Uh-huh. Uh, I, I get it. You're right. But what about this? Stacks of clean tablecloths that haven't been used yet. Okay. I guess there's nothing strange here. Okay, I guess okay. the game was like, you found the blood stain, it's yeah. time to go. Okay. It seems like, since we got that in the irons, so I think we're good. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Yep. Okay, it looks like you've pretty much finished looking around the whole building. Hey. So how about we check out Byakuya's cottage? Byakuya's cottage? Yep. There might be clues there, so I thought it'd be good to go check it out, just in case. But I was scared I might encounter some danger if I went there by myself. Well, I don't mind going there together, but aren't you worried about the possibility that I might be that danger? Whoa. Hey, you mean, am I worried about you being the killer? <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, 
I don't think you're the killer. In fact, I can't even imagine it. It's like, instead of living with doubt in others, it's so much better to die believing in others. Don't talk like that. <laughs> We're doing this so that we can live, you know? I see. As I thought, you sure are strong. You are definitely the chosen one. Chosen by Hope's, Hope's Peak Academy. All right. <laughs> what, buddy? <laughs> All right, then let's get going to Biakia's cottage. Dude, big grimace faces from both of us. And yeah. Are like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I feel like I feel like Hinata feels the same way. It's like, can I get a different buddy? What, what the hell? Anybody want to volunteer to be my buddy? <laughs> I don't know why, but every time we talk. I don't really know how I'm supposed to react. <laughs> I feel that. He's very off-putting, and yeah. The moment I left the old building, there was a strange scene unfolding in front of me. Oh boy. Let's go. Are you guys looking for the earring? Earring. Hey, what are you doing? What am I doing, you say? <laughs> ha! Now that is truly a foolish question. <laughs> Your version of his voice is so spot on. It's like, it's not like a, I'm just doing him. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm just doing the correct voice. <laughs> it's who he is. It's yeah. how he is. He's really good. Um, we're just checking to see if we can get under the floor from here. Under the floor? Why? Who said it was futile? Who decided it was impossible? <laughs> <laughs> How did you know I cannot recover my earring? If it is possible to get under the floor, it'll change our understanding of the murder. I think. Thank God Chiaki is there to be <laughs> like, we're, we're making this a productive we're, act. We're, you go on, I'm we, gonna help we'll Gundam. We'll find your earring. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll actually do some investigating while we're down there. Mm -hmm. So I thought it was important to check it. I see. I see. Under the floor, huh? I never I never considered thinking of it like that. What do you mean? See? Come on, think about it. Hey. The carpet I laid didn't reach the table where we found Byakuya's body, right? Hmm. And the dining, the dining hall floor had huge gaps between the floorboards. Then... It, is it possible that the killer killed Byakuya by stabbing him from beneath the floor? Whoa, what? I didn't even think of that. Oh, I didn't consider that option. Yep. That's what I thought. So I'm trying to see if we can get under get under it from here. Oh, well. Hmm. Mm, I guess it's not possible to get under the floor from outside. The building is surrounded by firm fences, so there's no way to sneak under the floor from there. But... Even so, I couldn't find a way to get under the floor from inside the building, either. Do you think there's a possibility that there's a hidden hole somewhere? Well... No, that's not possible. Are you sure? At any rate, it seems you can't under- you can't get under the floor from outside the building. That's a relief relief why hmm. because if you could get under the floor from the outside there'd only be one logical suspect the only person who didn't come to the party and also doesn't have an alibi oh right Fihiko. so i suspected him too that's why i was checking to see if it's possible to get under the floor from outside well Speaking of which, not long after I began guarding the entrance, Fuyuhiko came here. Huh? He did? Huh? Huh? What happened, Fuyuhiko? Huh? Oh, uh, hey. What are you doing here, all alone at a place like this? Yep. I'm standing guard so Monokuma doesn't come inside. Huh. <laughs> How diligent of you. Hey, hey. You're not coming to the party? What are you saying? Hell no. Not even if you paid me. Parties are stupid. They make me want to puke. <laughs> you want to come to the party, right? Isn't that why you came here? Of course you... not. I was just going for a damn walk. 
<laughs> he was like, maybe I can sneak in and like just kind of hang yeah. out. He's a baby. <laughs> He's a little baby gangster. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're just full of shit. <laughs> no, I've, I've murdered a man. I've murdered I murder men. all of you. I'll put you all in the faces. <laughs> Kick your damn asses. You'll be sleeping with the fishes. I don't want to party. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> what do I have to report to you every time I want to go on a fucking walk? That's wrong. No, it's not like that, but... <laughs> then leave me alone. All right. And then he just left. So that happened. But why did he come here? <laughs> See? He probably wants to be a part of the group, but he can't be honest about it. He believes he's different from everyone else. That's why he's always alone. Hey, hey. He's like the main character of an RPG. Have you played those before? <laughs> uh, uh, why did we start talking about video games? <laughs> oh. I really like Chiaki a lot. Mm -hmm. I like voicing her. <laughs> she's great. I see. I you like how she's just like, not only did I see through his bullshit, but I also was investigating a really valid option for the murder. Yeah! <laughs> and was thinking about this very clearly. <laughs> She's in incredibly perceptive and yeah. competent, actually. Even though, like, they introduced her as, like, not paying attention yep. and falling asleep. And no, just she's just off doing things. her own thing, doing well. Yeah, <laughs> I, I like her, yeah. Even though we don't really know what he's thinking, I don't think we have any reason to doubt him. I'm glad. That's a relief. I'm glad. You keep saying you're glad, but we have no idea who the killer is. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess for now we should stick to the plan and head over to Byakuya's cottage. <laughs> as oh. long as the probability is greater than zero, that will suffice. I, have not I will most assuredly the reclaim the hellhound earring with my own two hands. I know he started talking, I didn't know. That's fine, he it just seems... said a little line. Yeah. It seems he has no intention of investigating. No. And I think this, I I do think that's just how he's coping. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's like, I'm gonna go focus on something else. And for what it's worth, if he can solve that puzzle, it will be useful. That is true. Oh, hey, hey Fuiko. Fuiko. What's up? Hi. Huh? You just going for a walk? What the <laughs> hell? Did I tell, didn't I tell you to leave me alone? Bro. That's not happening. Bro. Did you hear Monokuma's announcement? Somebody died. Someone is dead. Of course I did. Apparently Biaki is the one that got killed. <laughs> so what? What did you say? Do you think I'm the killer? Think what think whatever you want. I'm used to being mistrusted. That's not why I'm whatever. Just tell me what you were doing while everyone else was at the party. Yeah. Huh? Checking my alibi, huh? Hm. Well, I don't have one. I was just chilling in my cottage all by myself at the time. The whole time. A little lonely boy. <laughs> because Chiaki said you were out in front of the old building. Oh, yeah, that's true. You weren't there the whole time. Shut up! Ch no nosy bitch. Jeez. It's true, I went for a little walk. And then, just by chance, I ended up passing by the old building. Because I heard there was a party happening. It's not like I wanted to hang with you, Baka. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry for that. I apologize. That's accurate, though. Were you really going for a walk? Don't tell me you were actually trying to join the party. Don't fuck with me! Why the hell would I do that? It's a coincidence! A coincidence! Alright. I got it. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> I Hajime swear. is my favorite. Look, I love all these characters, but I will say Hajime is my favorite character to voice because he's just so like whatever. Man, okay, I don't, whatever. I don't, it would require too much energy for me to react to this. I really love that he's just the straight man. Yeah. In all of this. Like we've got this in, this insane cast of characters, and he's just like, what the hell? I don't know what's going on with all that. Yeah. 
<laughs> Which makes me wonder about what his ultimate is. Like, That's fair. very much so. Because everyone else, like, every other, most every other ultimate here is a character. They're a little out there. Say. You're not wrong. And, and he seems to be the most grounded of the group, from what I can tell. So, I'm intrigued to fi- Okay. Actually, so, in the first game, spoiler alert, um, <laughs> Our most competent person, who I'd say is Kyoko, yeah, absolutely, had her memory wiped mm -hmm. because she was the ultimate detective. And Monokuma was like, "That's too dangerous. That's we too, need that out. Yeah. That's too hot. We mm -hmm. need to like remove that from the equation for as long as we possibly can." That makes me think that maybe, uh, maybe Hinata's ultimate is something like that, like something that is mm -hmm. like too hot to handle in this environment. So. That would be interesting had, to be to be cat because like Kyoko was kind of the protagonist of the first game in a lot of ways. Yes. So to be cast as that character. Yes. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. And that it's kind of like we've been role reversed. Now we're playing the Kyoko character opposite. And Nagi's our, over our here Nagi. doing his. Yeah. No, yeah. it's fair. Um, yeah. And talking or, about or Komeda Nagito, here. Sorry. Yeah. yeah Nagito. Yeah. Um, yeah. So Komeda is basically our our Makoto. That would be an interesting role reversal. Yes. Yeah. Um, and we're the ones that had our memory like completely wiped. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. Just it's something to think about. Yeah. Just a theory. That that's the parallel I see with it right now because they they have been drawing. I would say are obvious parallels between Nagito and Makoto. Yeah. And I mean, uh, as this is this is a little bit meta, but uh, Nagito Komeda's name reverse like jumbled up is it's an anagram it's of an Makoto anagram Nagi, Mak and also he's using he's wearing um, Nagi's he's beta got his jacket. coat. Yeah, yeah. So like, yeah, the, it, it's pretty. There's in-game obvious stuff, and then there's some meta obvious stuff yes. too, where the parallels between the two, the connections between the two are. Yeah, I, I'm curious yeah. to see where there are like, where are the intentional connections because mm -hmm. I. I I'm already seeing the connections, um, whether they're from a meta standpoint or not. Mm. I'm just not sure yet. Yep. Um, so, fair. yeah. Um, um, he's going to say, dumbass. Yes. <laughs> and that's, and that's it. <laughs> Farewell. All right, bye. <laughs> Goodbye, Fuhiko. I'm just going to walk the. Oh, hi. hi again. Hello, other protagonist. All right. Now then, we must head over to Byakuya's cottage. If you get lost, check the map in the student handbook. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. We've been there before. We have. Isn't it like just right next to ours? Yeah, I think it's, it's like here. Right here. Here it is. Because we like went in his cottage already. Mm hmm Because we hung out with him. Huh, it's locked. Hey, I guess we need to ask him for help. And so Nagito took a deep breath. Hey! Hey, Monokuma! Did you call me? Yay! Did you call me? Oh. Nagito! When did you train Monokuma? <laughs> hey. Hey, Monokuma, I was wondering if you can do us a favor. There's something we want to in want to investigate. What's this? Hey, who are you talking to? That's just my after image. What? <laughs> <laughs> when I get serious, my after image is unleashed. What? What? I can even play soccer by myself as long as I have this cloning technique. Though it'd be pretty boring to play alone. I don't have time for this. Just hurry up and open Byakuya's cottage already. <laughs> well, this is for the class trial, so it's something we really need. Hmm? For the class trial? This eh. is troubling. If it's for the class trial, there's no way I can refuse. Now then, there's only one spell that can open these doors. Ba -ba -ba -loose. Oh, sure. okay. I'll leave the rest to you. Okay. See? I've unlocked the door. Then you can investigate to your heart's content. Thank, thank, Bye. Thanks. Thank you. Why does it open with a magic spell? Jeez. It's probably powered by electricity. At any rate, that performance was a waste of time. I see. I guess we should go inside then. You're right. Yeah, I guess you're right. Okay, here we go. Okay. Can we look around and see if there's a bear in here? Is there a bear in here? Oh, good idea. Is there a bear? A, a bear! bear! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yay! Oh. Yay! We found you. Beautiful. Coins! For gifts! Okay. Um, I'm just gonna start from left to right. Okay. 
and we'll go across the room. This bed. Nothing about it really catches my eye. Okay. Um, window? A letter! I'll get to the letter in a sec. Looks like this, uh, the room's interior design isn't that different from mine. There's not much to worry about here. Okay. A letter. Envelope. Ooh, there's an envelope on the table. Is it a letter someone sent to Biakia? That's okay. weird. There's no sender. That looks pretty suspicious. Hajime. Hajime, you should check what's inside. Yeah, you're right. Let's see. Uh-oh, what we got? Whoa. <gasps> the first kill will happen tonight. Someone will definitely kill someone. Be careful. <laughs> the first kill will happen tonight. Someone will definitely kill someone. This is... This is... Is this a crime warning? No. If it says be careful, it's probably a threatening letter. Regardless, who would send something like this? Maybe... Hey. Maybe this is why Byakuya suddenly decided to throw a party. Huh? The first kill will happen tonight. Because someone made this threat to Byakuya. He gathered everyone in one area and was extremely cautious about all the dangerous items. He was trying to create a scenario in which everyone could monitor each other. He thought if he did that, nobody would be able to kill anyone. So he believed this crazy letter? But... He couldn't ignore the possibility of this happening, even if it was just a worst-case scenario. Hey, remember what Byakia kept saying? How he wouldn't let anyone become a victim. He couldn't. Oh, sorry. He couldn't overlook that slim possibility. Just to keep his promise. Then why did he keep it a secret? If he had just told us. Nope. He probably couldn't. He probably thought that was also a worst case scenario. Sorry. 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 I'm gonna get you a new controller after this. Okay. I'm so sorry. I should have done that before. No, that's okay. I thought I had fixed it, but no, clearly no. Worries. no. <laughs> What do you mean? Hmm. Even uh, if everyone knew what was in this letter, whether it's a lie or not, everyone would have likely begun to doubt each other. And at that point, there'd be no turning back. So Byakuya tried to do something about this all by himself, without telling anyone? Yep. His strong sense of responsibility is the only ex explanation I can think of. Anyway, whoever sent Byakuya this letter also killed him. Is that what you're saying? Sorry. No, this could be a prank. And it might have nothing to do with Byakuya's death at all. Huh? What was that? He suddenly became really quiet. I see. He doesn't want to believe one of us could be a killer. But still, we've come all the way here because it's the only thing I can think of. The person who wrote this letter murdered Byakia. If that's the case, that person completely predicted how Byakia would react once he received it. I don't right? know if the person who wrote the letter is actually the one who is the killer. Because it says, be careful. Which makes me think that someone caught wind of someone else's plan and was like, I need to tell Byakia, our leader, because I think mm -hmm. he might be able to do something about it. That's my suspicion right now, because it seems like they're trying to push really hard here right now that whoever wrote this letter killed Byakuya. Mm -hmm. And knowing this game, that I, have, like... I have to remember that the immediate assumptions are usually not the case. So I'm wondering if this is more of a, a an anonymous warning from someone who was not the killer. Fair I enough. think that's just something to consider. I mean, it very well could be the killer that did it, and this was a trap, you know? Mm. Um, and they did it to set everything up, knowing that Byakia would do something, and then they could bring them into the building where they could trip the breaker and make a kill um, during that whole stage setup. That That's true, there. although it wasn't Byakia's idea to go in that room initially. We talked about it at breakfast. That's true. So it was it was a committee decision to use the other room. That's true. Um, yeah. I don't mm. know. Yeah, I'm... Yeah. 
I'm just wondering how thought out this this murderous plan was. Mm -hmm. Like, how far in advance did they plan all of this? It seems like it was pretty well planned. From what I can tell so far, it seems like they really, like, spent some time putting this together. I think. I think. Unless they were planning to kill someone else and Byakuya thwart, like, thwarted it and got killed in the process. I don't know. Also possible. So. Yeah. They planned to manipulate Byakuya and killed him right before our eyes in that old building. Damn it. Who the hell would do that? Truth bullet. Okay. Murder threat has been added. Hey. Hajime, there's probably not much time left until the class trial starts. Probably. <laughs> ah, which reminds me, you asked Mahiru for a favor earlier, right? Yeah, I wanted her to find out where everybody was uh, was standing before the blackout. Ah, oh, yeah. She probably is finished by now. You're coming with me, right? Sorry. Sorry, that's all you. Huh? I need some time alone. I'd like some time to collect my thoughts. I, I see. I understand. Hey. Also, if you're going back to the old building, you should probably hear what Mikan has to say as well. I think the results of her autopsy should be ready by now. Bye now. I'll see you later. Okay. Yeah, bye. He was pretty pale. I wonder if he's okay. So he made some sort of realization and was like, I need to go think this through. Mm. Huh. But now's not the time for me to worry about Nagito. There isn't much time left. I better, I better hurry over to the old building. I, before I do that, I want to see if I can find Pekko. I know I need to hurry to the old building. Um, she's in her. She might be in her cottage. On the other side. Yeah. Um, Could be. I'm. Just, she was advised to go there, so yeah, that's a fair point. I'm just. Man, I leveled up. Yeah, um, we might want to check on our pet at some point. Oh yeah. I did that at the we end did, of last yeah. time. We did, yeah. It's Pekko's cottage, but there's no reason to investigate here right now. Oh, fine. It was a fair. It was a fair theory. Okay. Um, for all we know, though, we've we've been bouncing around. She could be back. That is very true. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, clean. clean, clean. I have presents. Um, for the pet? not yet. Oh. There are normal presents. We can just buy it water. It'll. It likes water. Okay. I can do that later, right? Yeah. Okay. That's that's for a different time. Yeah, we're in the middle of something right now. Oh, hey, Monami. Oh. Monami is What's here. up? Oh, yeah. wait. What What was that? It's a pet alert. I don't know why. What, pet? What's, what's up? the pet? I just looked at you. Oh, <gasps> what's it going to be? <gasps> oh, my gosh. It's evolving. It is evolving <laughs> <laughs> into a metapod. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hello, hey, Monami. Monami. Slash Usami. I don't know what to call you anymore. I guess you're Monami. She because... seems to have accepted Monami oh. for worse. Definitely for worse. Definitely for yep. worse. <laughs> oh, too cruel. This is just too cruel. <laughs> oh, yeah. I might as well ask her about the old building's windows. Oh, yeah. Will she even be helpful with that? I we shall see. We shall see. If I can the controller. <laughs> I will fix it. It keeps turning. Sure. What's happening is it's turning on and off. I know, yeah. which is weird because the plug is. It, I think it might be broken. I think I might need a new. Like, yeah, we thought control. it was the we thought it was the cord, but yep, I think it's, it's the not controller. The cord. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, do you have a sec? I want to ask you something. <laughs> I don't wanna. I don't wanna help you guys mistrust your friends. What the hell? It's not like we're doing this because we want to. No, it, now is not the time to fight about stuff like that. More importantly, do you know why the old building's windows are covered by iron plates? Hmm? Huh? Iron plates? I covered them up. Oh, I covered them up so nobody makes the mistake of going inside since it's dangerous because of the renovation. I see. The renovation. So that's why you covered them up? Because it's dangerous to go inside. Danger isn't supposed to exist on this island. <laughs> this isn't how it's supposed to be. But why did it get like this? It's cruel. Too cruel. <laughs> just because it's cruel doesn't mean you can just keep crying like that. Crying won't solve anything. We have to do this no matter what, damn it. 
All right. All right. So bye, bye, bunny. Bu uh, bunny covered them up. All right. Oh, I didn't expect you to be able to go into the lobby. Oh, did I? Was I not supposed to go in here? No. Oh wait, I'm supposed to go back to the building. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? Wait a minute. Maybe I want to connect you. I I I think the, I th I don't know. No? I don't think you're supposed to be here. Okay. Well. You can try. I mean, you can go to the restaurant. I just. I'm just gonna <laughs> pop in real quick. I just, well, it let me. It did let you. You're not wrong about that. I'm not supposed to be here. I don't here. think you're supposed to be here. I'm gonna go outside. It's gonna be a real bad closed box mystery if <laughs> the the hotel lobby has something to do with <laughs> it. Like, true. I don't know. Maybe this is just me. No, you're right. Um, okay, so I need. <laughs> oh, he shit. Ooh. I'm so happy for him. What the? You feeling better now? <laughs> What the hell was that loud voice just now? Oh, he shit. <laughs> uh, do you think maybe he's like, is he in the bathroom right now? Maybe. Let's go Let's check the door. Check the bathroom door. Hello? Um, the bathroom seems to be open. But I don't really need to go right now. There's really no need for me to go inside. Please go inside! No! Oh. Be smarter! I'm trying no, we to don't. It. Okay. Um, I don't know, maybe you came from, maybe he's making a noise in the office. I think he's just in the hallway. Oh. Yeah. Oh, so I'm still here. Yeah, I'm gonna leave. Yes. Our mission is Mikan, Mikan and Mahiru. You're right. And Coach, if we can find him. Okay. And Peko, if we can find her. <laughs> yes. Okay, okay, indeed. okay. Yeah, we're, we're, we're gonna find we're him. We're gonna find you. Did you shit in the hallway? There he is. Hi. We're very happy for you. Huh? Oh, I feel so lighthearted now. <laughs> I, Nakamaru Nidai, have been reborn! I have no intention of losing anymore. Oh. Losing to who? Oh. I won't lose to anyone, not even to my past self. That sounds cool and all, but what are you even talking about? Uh, what? I don't know. What is he talking about? I, like <laughs> I, know, I, know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I know, sorry. I know, I know. We're, we're almost, <laughs> we're almost done. Okay, yeah. Shit! What? I don't know who was behind it, but someone tried to make me a sh make a shitty bastard out of me. Well, he made it. I'm so happy for him. Some scoundrel was occupying the bathroom before the party was about to start. Now that you mention it, you said something like that shortly after the party started. Yeah. I've been trying to use it, trying to use it many times, but the door just won't open at all. Jeez. However, if you think I'd be angered by something like that, you've all underestimated my nerve and patience. Do, do all and achieve all with one's presence of mind. That is the goal of a true leader. In other words, a leader must never falter in any situation, but always have the presence of one's mind. He says that, but I'm pretty sure he was shaken up by the whole he ordeal. He kept yelling, oh shit, I'm gonna shit. He, he did, in fact, keep saying that. <laughs> oh so. well, best not to go into it. <laughs> anyway, so you're saying the bathroom door was shut from before the party started and after the blackout? So what I mean is... And the bathroom was finally unoccupied after Byakuya's body was found. That's about how long it, that lasted. What he said sounds stupid and irrelevant, but I should remember it just in case. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I, okay. I don't know why it was that moment, but my mind during that entire conversation was like, wouldn't it be funny if this character was just replaced by Ted Lasso? <laughs> and it just really <laughs> cracked me up. I don't have any more joke behind that. I just want you to know where my mind was at during that whole monologue. <laughs> That's so specific. That's that's it. That's all I got for you. <laughs> oh, all right, we got Nekamara's account. Let's okay. go talk to Mikan and uh, Mahiru. Okay, let's go. Wait, no, main hall. Main hall. Me. Here we go. Yes. Okay. Indeed. And then it sounded like we're pretty we're pretty close. Oh, so. everybody's here. Okay, we gotta go to Mikan first. Mikan. Um, um, if you'd like. I can tell you a little bit about what I wanted to, uh, of what I want to say. She gonna like go into a? Did you find anything out? Yeah. Um, I tried within reason to perform an autopsy on Biakia's body, well. and I discovered 
that there were s several puncture wounds around Biakia's chest and abdominal region. Okay, I think we knew that. Deep wounds. Deep enough to reach his lungs and internal organs. Oh it can be assumed that a very thin, sharp object around five millimeters in diameter was used to stab him over and over and over again, which is what I it was really good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Hey, hey, are you okay? Is this what you do in the hospital? I'm Whenever you do or not? Sensitive to <laughs> it always makes me cry. I'm sorry. Talking about it made me sad. I can't even take it. <laughs> sorry. No need to push yourself. I mostly got the gist of what you wanted to say. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Still, around five millimeters in diameter, huh? Diameter? Isn't that pretty thin? That's as thin as an ice pick. Or, or an all. Or a skewer? So the knife was a setup? Huh? We just know that he was, uh, the, the, the Monokuma files just said he was stabbed a bunch yep, of times. So that is correct. not what was used, but we have a knife there making it look like that's what was used. But it sounds like... But how'd the knife even get there? Like... It was taped. Well, yeah, but there. like... Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I have an idea, I have an idea. Uh, we got a cow that was murdered. Th not murdered. <laughs> we got a cow that was taken. And maybe we used the cow's blood as part of some sort of staging of this in That some is a way. plot point that we have. Yes. You're not wrong. Um, because- I wasn't expecting you to come out with Cal, but- <laughs> but I, but wait, that, wait that a minute, is a, we have a but Cal. But that is a bad- <laughs> I, just, I, I was just throwing out, I didn't know that's where your mind was going, but that's actually about, that is a plot point that we have. Yes. We do know the big, the big meat came from Cal. The big meat came from Cal and- Recently killed Cal. Yes, yes. And- I'm guessing if there's a blood, like the blood stain on a, I, I guess there's a, 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 a tablecloth in there. I mean, that could have come from some sort of setup for this situation. I don't know. <sighs> okay. 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 All right. I want to keep that. In, I want to keep that in the back pocket. Okay. So let's talk to my hero. Okay. My hero. Hey. Hey, you're here. Where the hell did you- where the hell did you wander off to? I wasn't wandering. I was investigating as much as I could. Hm. <sighs> I see. Well, if you weren't slacking off, then I guess it's fine. So, did you find anything? Hmm, yeah, sorta. You don't sound too sure. Hey. Well, just take a look at this. Um, just as you told me, using the two photos I took before the- just as you told me, using the two photos I took before the blackout, I tried to pinpoint where everyone was standing. When I did this, this diagram was the result. Oh! Useful! Whoa. Really useful! I want to take a look at this real quick. Kibiakio's way on the other side of the room. And then he ends up under that table with the lamp? Mm hmm Okay. Terra Terra question mark in the kitchen? Um, wow. Okay. No, it's a good point. All the question marks are people just not in the photos. At least yeah, for the photos, Jamie we have Pecco. evidence they were there. Yeah. yeah. All windows are cut. This is So this rad. is everyone's standing position before the blackout. Everyone's pretty much in the dining hall. I've made this diagram from analyzing those photos, so I'm pretty sure it's accurate. Honestly, excellent work. That's uh, real good. Yeah. yeah. Just as I thought, Biaki was standing a far distance from that table. It's impossible. There's no way he would be able to move that far during a blackout. Uh, what's the line extending from this table to the, where Byaku was killed? I mean, isn't that the cord? Um, um, it's a desk lamp. I drew the power cord for it just in case. The power cord for the desk lamp? If that cord is extending from the table where Byaku was killed, that means... Hey. So, did you find something? Uh, it's not clear to me yet, but... Something else, this tablecloth... Oh, I guess it's the back. The back two tablecloths are a different color as well? Yeah, I don't know it is matters. both of them, though. You're yeah, right. Yeah, it is both of them. Um, hmm. 
I guess you're right. I didn't really understand it myself when I was drawing it. I have a feeling that it's either a potential clue or just a waste of labor. No, it wasn't a waste at all. Huh? Hmm? It's not clear to me yet, but there's no mistake that a clue is hidden here. An extremely important clue. Ding dong, ding bong! Oh no. That's it. Is that all we get? That's all we get. For what it's worth, that's a, that's a, we got a, a, a lot. lot of, it's frankly maybe too much information. It's a lot of information, but I mean, the time in which, like, the murder happened and then all of our investigating, yeah. like, it's just like. It's really tight. It just went into the night and then they're like, okay, that, w w let's go. Yeah. Um, oh, wow. But. We do have a lot of information. Yes. So I think we, I actually kind of think we can start piecing it together. I think so We're going to have to talk it out, but I think we can piece this together with what we've been given. Yeah. So. Which means next time we get to jump into the class trial and do exactly that. Oh boy, I'm, I'm excited, but also I'm sad because a murder has occurred and it was Byakia and that really sucks. It just really sucks. But I want to figure it out. I want to see who did it. I have my suspicions. I, it feels like an obvious suspicion, <laughs> but yeah, we can address it next time. We'll see. Fair enough. See you next time, folks. Bye.